So we've just entered the uh, marina right over here. And Rob has kind of aimed our bow toward our dock where we used to be docked. And now he's gonna shift into reverse with some pretty decent throttle to stop the forward momentum. He's gonna hold that throttle for quite a while until we can get steerage as we back into the slipway right over here. He's um, Rob has switched to the forward side of the helm facing aft. So that left is left and right is right. Starboard is always starboard and port is always still port. And uh, he's going to start making his turn into the slipway with uh, Right now he has about one pizza slice on the helm, if you will. He's keeping track of where that blue tape mark is, so he always knows where his rudder is at all times. And he has nice speed, we're actually climbing upwind. The wind is coming from the east, um, and so he's going to keep his throttle up for quite a while because as we make this turn, we're going to be clawing our way upwind. And as we come up the slipway, he's going to be center slipway, maybe favoring the right side, our port side, to some degree, but we have to make sure that we never get too close to the boats to port because uh, we can get pinned over there and bad things will happen. Um, so Dell has uh, arranged the bow line to be easily uh, retrievable, accessible at the port shroud, and she's now coming back to get the stern line ready to go. And uh, her mission will be to, um, well, Rob's mission will be to, to, to deliver Dell to the dock and when it's safe for her to step off, she's gonna step off and put the stern line onto a specific cleat that we have chosen. And uh, we will use that stern line to spring onto the dock while Dell walks to the bow and secures the bow line. Our slip is right over here. And we have one boat and two boats, about two slips. Before we reach ours, he's going to start making his turn. Go ahead and start making it a little bit now. You know, two to three boats early, he's starting to cut his angle. Keeping it in gear because we're still getting blown off the dock. So it's very important that we come in with a little bit of momentum. Fortunately, we've done a few practice ones here, so he's confident in keeping the speed up and committing to entering the slip very important that we do not t-bone the corner of the dock that would be a devastation and uh, he's gonna make sure that this corner here the port quarter can clear that corner of the dock good keep us close in but not too close no away from the dock now away away from the dock neutral neutral add a little bit of forward Step off though, go to your cleat, secure it very quickly, and add more forward. And by adding the forward, the bow has been blown away because the wind is blowing this way. But by securing the stern line and powering and forward, we're actually closing the gap and we're springing onto the dock where Shell can casually walk up, grab the bow line that she so perfectly preset to make it accessible. And now that she's secure on the bow, he goes back to neutral. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. This is a keeper here. So um, what we have done is we've actually landed the boat on the outer two thirds of the slip. Um, this cleat here, that would be where a spring line could go and the bow line all the way at the end. That's like our safe zone for landing at the end of the slip. Then we have all of this space back here still. So we don't have to worry about a spring line yet. We're mainly concerned about bow and stern. And now that the boat is secure, we can casually take our lines and walk the boat back all the way to this corner right here. The stern line will go right under this cleat right here. The transom will be about a foot and a half off of the dock. But we've placed some fenders on the transom just in case, but we'll be walking the boat back so I don't foresee that being a problem. And with the transom right up back here, we can plug in very easily. There won't be a need for a, a diagonal uh, cross spring on the astern. And uh, these three cleats here, one, 
two, and three are perfectly spaced for bow, spring, and stern, and the boat will fit perfectly. Before we leave on the next sailing day, we would walk the boat to the last three cleats and preset for exiting the slip um, out at the end of the dock again. So we highly recommend landing and departing from the end of the dock and then walking the boat in manually to this corner for uh, long-term uh, storage of the boat and plugging it.